There are many animals in the world that fear almost nothing. Most of them are top predators and the largest animals on the planet. But still, the most fearless animal on Earth is considered to be a small honey badger. Why is this so? What are its strength and peculiarities, and how does it behave? All the answers are here in this episode. I'll tell and show you why the honey badger is the most fearless animal in the world. Let's go! The honey badger is a species of the mustelids family, which inhabits Africa and Asia. In Africa, it's almost ubiquitous, while in Asia, its range extends from the Arabian Peninsula to Central Asia as well as to India and Nepal. The honey badger is a rather small animal. The honey badger reaches a size of 77 centimeters, not counting the tail length of about 25 centimeters. The weight of the animal ranges from 7 to 13 kilograms, with males being slightly heavier than females. The honey badger does not look too frightening and cannot boast of a large size, but at the same time, it's feared by many animals, while it itself is not afraid of anyone. This is recognized both by scientists and representatives of the Guinness Book of World Records, who at the end of the last century put this mammal in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless and bravest animal on the planet. But why is this so? There are several reasons. The first is the skin. The honey badger's skin is very thick, except for a thin layer on its belly. This makes the honey badger a die-hard creature. It's almost impossible to pierce or penetrate it. In some cases, even the powerful teeth of large felines and venomous snakes cannot penetrate such armor. The second reason for the honey badger's toughness is its powerful paws with long claws as well as its teeth. By nature, honey badgers are predatory animals. With its long claws, the honey badger can finish off many rivals, and its sharp teeth allow it to eat the prey whole together with the spine and skull. They eat rodents, young foxes, antelopes, birds, and various reptiles. Honey badgers also like other foods such as honey. Actually, this is the reason honey badger is called as it's called. The third reason for the honey badger's danger and fearlessness is its aggressive temper, which often touches on mad ferocity. To some extent, the honey badger can even be called a badass because it doesn't care who it's up against. The honey badger can even pounce on a lion, a leopard, a buffalo, or a crocodile. For this reason, the honey badger has virtually no natural enemies in the wild. And another reason is immunity to snake venom. Ordinary animals die after being bitten by a venomous snake, but the honey badger just falls asleep. A couple hours later, it wakes up as if nothing had happened and goes to take revenge on the offender or attack the next lion that gives it a dirty look. All this combined makes the honey badger the most fearless and insane animal on the planet. In other words, the honey badger is very tough indeed. But what's it like in action? How does it behave in battle? Let's take a look. Lions An unusual episode was filmed somewhere in Africa a few years ago. There were six lions in the savanna, two lionesses, and four growing lion cubs. They were standing calmly when suddenly two honey badgers ran by nearby. Those had an urge to fight the lion cubs, and they headed toward them. The adult females had first-hand knowledge of the fearlessness of honey badgers, so they ignored them, preferring not to mess with these crazy creatures. The lion cubs were inexperienced, so they decided to pounce on the honey badgers. They started biting and punching one of them, not realizing that they were making a mistake. The honey badger didn't care. It looked like it didn't feel the punches. Moreover, it started attacking the lions by itself. The lioness rushed to the rescue. They grabbed the honey badger and began to roll it on the ground, but the animal didn't care. It broke free and continued fighting. At one point, the lioness grabbed the brave creature again but it bit the lioness painfully on the muzzle. After that, all the big cats retreated, and the honey badgers went on their way. Where else could you find such a beast that would single-handedly kick six lions? Python A couple of years ago, tourists on a safari in Botswana's Chobe National Park filmed an interesting scene of a python attacking a honey badger, but ended up being its victim. The enormous python tried to strangle the honey badger, but was prevented by a passing jackal. While the python chased the jackal away, it loosened its grip, which was immediately taken advantage of by the honey badger that wanted revenge on its offender. The honey badger freed itself from the snake's grasp, and the roles were reversed. Instead of running away and leaving its prey to the jackals, the honey badger began to chase them away, and at some point, the animals began to pull the python like a rope. The second jackal bit the honey badger, 
But the fearless predator paid no attention to this and eventually won. To the tourist's surprise, the honey badger showed the jackals its sharp teeth and aggressive nature and successfully fought them off, dragging its prey to a shelter behind a bush. Okay, everything is understandable with the python, but what about the venomous snakes? I already told you about honey badgers being immune to snake venom, but how exactly do battles between these animals occur? Let's take a look. The honey badger's rival is the puff adder. This species of snake isn't as famous as the notorious black mamba or king cobra, but the puff adder is just as dangerous. I'll tell you more, the puff adder kills more people in Africa than any other snake on the continent. A single dose of puff adder venom is enough to kill several adults. And what about the honey badger? This footage taken by the research team at night shows the clash between the puff adder and the honey badger. First, the honey badger shows brazenness, takes the prey from the snake, and eats it literally a meter away from the viper. The dazed reptile has no choice but to stare at the insolent, but that's not enough for the honey badger. A few seconds later, it attacks the snake itself. The animal fights, and in the end, the honey badger wins. It subdues the snake and begins to eat it, but soon the team of scientists notices a swelling on the honey badger's cheek. The reptile managed to bite the animal after all. The honey badger stops eating the snake and passes out, as if it's been put under a powerful anesthetic. It just passes out. Despite being bitten by an extremely venomous snake, the honey badger only slept for a couple of hours, then woke up and went on its way. Although it still had some swelling from the bite, it felt fine overall. Scientists still don't know why honey badgers are so resistant to venom. The insane immunity of these fearless animals is a mystery to them. Scorpion it turns out that honey badgers are resistant not only to the venom of vipers and other dangerous snakes, but also to the venom of scorpions. By the way, did you know that out of more than a thousand and a half species of scorpions, only about 25 species are dangerous to humans? It's these species that have venom that can kill people. In any case, you're better off avoiding all scorpions because you never know which species might end up in front of you. But honey badgers don't care what kind of scorpions get in their way. In this footage, we see a honey badger approaching a scorpion up close. The arthropod tries to defend itself against the intruder and stings it several times in the face. Even though the scorpion's sting is extremely painful, and even more painful than a snake's bite, honey badger doesn't care. It just eats the scorpion as if nothing happened. Crocodile African crocodiles are extremely dangerous animals. Only hippos, elephants, and lions can resist them. However, crocodiles also have another enemy, and that is, of course, the honey badger. For example, this footage shows the intrepid honey badger fighting the dangerous crocodile. The animals wrestled for a bit, after which the honey badger simply walked away without sustaining any damage. The only reason it left the battlefield was the large size of the reptile. For all the toughness of the honey badgers, they can't handle a big crocodile. They can only give the giant a smack. But things are easier with small crocs. In this video, we can see a honey badger dragging a small crocodile using its teeth. The reptile is completely at its mercy and will soon become a delicacy for the predator's dinner. Hyenas Hyenas are some of Africa's most dangerous, cruel, and creepy inhabitants. But even these monsters prefer to stay away from honey badgers. They're afraid of these crazy animals and do not want to mess with them. Hyenas dare to attack a honey badger only in a group, as in this case. A clan of hyenas feels more confident when confronting a honey badger. They chase it through a wooded savanna area, but the honey badger doesn't care who opposes it. It bares its teeth and chases one of the other hyena, periodically biting them. Although the honey badger eventually escaped, the hyenas could not fight it or even injure it. I think the honey badger ran away simply because it got bored. If it had wanted to, it could have kicked the hyenas hard. Mother versus Zebras Honey badgers don't just attack everyone for no reason. Often they pounce on or intimidate other animals to protect their babies. This is especially interesting because while ordinary honey badgers are fearless creatures, then mother's honey badgers are the bravest creatures of all. This footage is a good example. A female honey badger crosses an African road with its baby. It left its mother to gawk at the surroundings, but the female didn't notice it. The baby walked up to the zebras which it was seeing for the first time in its life and began to examine them. The striped creatures in turn headed toward it. Just then, the female came to its senses and ran to the rescue. It made a sharp lunge, 
closing the baby from the zebras. The striped guys were frightened. One zebra ran away, while the other pretended not to care. The mother's fearlessness saved the baby. After making sure the baby was okay, the mother grabbed it by the scruff of the neck and carried it across the road. Okay, zebras aren't predators after all. It's possible that these two striped individuals would not have harmed that baby at all. But what about cubs clashing with actual predators? In this footage, taken a couple years ago in South Africa's Kruger National Park, we see a leopard sneaking up on a baby honey badger that was sitting a few meters away and didn't see the danger until the predator lunged at it. The little animal noticed too late that it was on the verge of death. It seemed that the baby had no chances, but then the mother of the cub swoops down on the leopard. It does it very confidently and aggressively. The leopard runs away at once, as if it was not the threat of Africa, but a mischievous house cat. A cool rescue and yet another proof that honey badgers are the most fearless creatures on the planet. That's all, guys. Would you like to see honey badgers in person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.